The one where he goes, I love it when you call me Big Pop. Throw your hands in the air. air. If he's, he's a true, true player. player. Do you know why I listen to that song? Five, four, four three, three two, two. David Fraley. No, I don't. Ever, um, have you ever watched Hardball? It's Keanu Reeves. Keanu is he in that? Yes, he's the main character. Oh, like, I, th- I thought you were going to say uh, basque- uh, basketball. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, have you never seen Hardball? No. Like, so you don't know R.I.P. G. Baby? No. Really? I don't know what that is. Dude, if you want your like actual life change, what? Speaking of Keanu, why is, why is it that like popular two thousand movies just go right over you? Well, it's probably because like Zoolander, you never those watched? movies were never shown to me. I had to find them I, on my own, and when I was looking for movies, mm-hmm. I just went immediately <clears throat> to movies that were immediately coming out so around like 2010 2008 those kind of movies mm-hmm. or movies back in like the 80s and 90s like all time greats so I feel like that era of movies might have just missed me yeah so this was the reason why I saw it was that it, my parents would just get like whatever cheap movies they found like they were the people that you know those movies where you're like why did they like why w- does anybody actually buy these like three dollar movies my parents at- one of those. <laughs> he bought my parents literally bought like those not actually Who the fuck has they, these my parents they, they just i don't know i actually have no idea why because i only had like three movies and they were all fucking keanu reeves movies did you have baby mama though did you own that dvd no i'm telling you if anybody listens to this look at your parents dvd collection they will have the movie baby mama in what, there. What, what movie is that that's what tina fey and Amy Paul. okay so that was like around the 2010s or 2008 no, 2006 so. yeah 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 that's what i meant more like when i was in middle school and like grade school still uh, yeah grade school uh, around that time, this is not to incriminate my family, but they were on a huge uh, disc burning thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> they would they would copy movies. Oh, I thought you. Meant so like... we so we'd rent from Blockbuster. And <laughs> I then thought we'd... that it was like a book burning thing where they're like, we don't believe in this, and they were just burning CDs. <laughs> That's what I thought you meant. No, they they were big on we we yeah, had like burning crosses on people's lawns. <laughs> no, that's not what you're. That's not no. what you meant by that. No, my parents. Uh, we just get movies from Block. I don't know if it was oh, Blockbuster. Way lamer. We like had like a subscription. Might have been Netflix. It was like when Netflix would send you movies, and you guys would burn those. Yeah, we burn those front lawns. <laughs> Yeah, we'd take them <laughs> and throw them. And I, they called me Disc Boy because I'd run around. There and he I, is, I, Disc Boy. I'd go, <laughs> the vigilante that Milwaukee's always needed. Um, But yeah, no, Baby Mama would have been one of those that probably was burned on the disc. And I just never watched it. But yeah, we, we had... We'd always drive up north, so I always had to make this two-hour drive. But I only had to pick from Matrix One, yep. Hardball, yep. and Matrix One. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, two copies of Matrix One. Yes. That makes sense. Keanu really um, is intriguing to me. That's a great movie, though. Because by the way. Watch it. as I definitely saw the Matrix as a kid, right? Yes, I had seen them all. Correct. And obviously, the last two fucking suck. Airbend. Oh. Um. And but I I had also seen. Um, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and Bill yeah. and Ted's Bogus Journey. Yeah. But I never put two and two together that that was the same Hector. Really? No idea. Because really? they're such stark different characters. And also, here's the crazy thing. He's the greatest actor. Long hair. Yeah. Threw me off completely. Yeah, I mean, he's he's probably the greatest actor of our generation. Yeah, he has he has the Keanu, Keanu Reeves uh, mm-hmm. actor persona, which yeah. is just monotone and he acts the exact same. Or yes. he does, is he Bill or is he Ted? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Whichever one, he, whichever one he is, he, those are his two lights. He I, doesn't. I do remember watching Bill and Ted. A and there's lot. a new one coming. Yeah, there's a new one. I know. I they, like Keanu Reeves. I like the revamp of his career with John Wick. It's. I mean, he's like the he. Besides, like the Rock, he's the biggest action star right now. I don't know. Who else would it be? Um. Jason Sudeikis, that's Statham. You so uh, Jason 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 Statham. Statham, yeah. He has a new movie coming out. You're gonna go see it. Yeah, but if Keanu has it, you know you're gonna go see it. I've never seen any of the John Wicks. What? <laughs> yeah. Why am I surprised? <laughs> I've literally never seen a John Wick. Those movies are fucking huge. Everybody loves them. Yeah, I like them. <laughs> Here's the thing. Don't get me wrong. Just because I haven't seen them doesn't mean I'm not a fan. <laughs> Along with many other movies, I'm a big fan 
it, I like every single M. Night Shyamalan movie. How are you going to get mad I've at me for like not seeing Hardball, but you haven't seen John Wick? Because Hardball's the best. Dude, they have this pitcher who always has his headphones on, and they had him playing like first base or something at first, and then they then he goes, hey, coach, can I, can I pitch? And they're, they're like, he can pitch? Because he doesn't talk. He only listens to his headphones, and he's only listening to, I love it when you call me Big Papa. And that's and, how we got on this conversation. And every single time... He'd do this, and he'd, like, throw your hands in the air, and he'd have to do this dance. And when he did it, dude, this 13-year-old kid was throwing fucking 98s. Dude, it, this movie is probably one of the greatest movies well, of I all don't, time. I, I totally zoned out. I don't even know what we're talking about. Hardball. Just skip it. There, this, and, he, and then they partway through, like, their championship game, they're like, the coach complains about the pitcher because he has his headphones on, and they're like, he has to take those like, off. Who he else can, is he in this movie? Keanu Reeves and G-Baby. No, who's G-Baby? It's it's about Keanu Reeves getting forced into coaching in a uh, Oh, he's the pover- coach? Yeah. He's, he's not the player? No, he's coaching oh. uh, kids in poverty, so it's like a only African-American team. And uh, Do they win the big game? We're going to the ship, coach. But when they're in the, sh- I don't know the when, when they're in the ship, they the coach complains about him having his headphones on because he's pitching so good and he can't pitch without the song playing. So then partway through, what song? They, they, the I, yeah, and so partway through, everybody on the bench starts going, "I love it when you call me Big Pop," and you got Keanu Reeves singing, "I love it when you he call is. me Big Pop." But Big small throw season. your hands in the air if you're a true player. And then they win the big game. See some ballers tonight. Shoot up the place. Why? Because I see some ladies tonight Damn. that should be having my baby. Baby. And then G-Baby does it. And G-Baby is just like, uh, he's he's too young to be on the team. He's only like, I think, nine or something. So he didn't make the cut. But he's like, they're, he's always on the bench. And he's like a little kid that swears all the time. So he's like real funny. He's like, I got the movie. It's so good. It's, I got it. You like it? I love it. Yeah, that's how I feel about uh, dog killing movie. Um, what? So where where did we last leave off? Keanu on this, Reeves on this podcast last week to <laughs> this week. Um, I have a actually name. I'll let you go first. Name the three fakest people you know. Uh, you're at the bottom of the list. You're the realest one I know. True. Um, are we, are we naming like our friends? Are we naming? Yeah. Yeah, you could throw in like a celebrity if you'd like. Yeah, I'd rather just throw in celebrities. Okay. Because yeah, I'll do celebrities too. The fakest celebrities that I know. Yeah. Um. Whitney Cummings is at the top of my list. Really? Yeah. You think she's fake? Yeah, I do. Uh, she. I just watched her podcast with Andrew Yang, but here goes my list. I'm only going to do celebrities. Don't I get three? Yeah, your list was taken. So you just wanted to set it up. Bye bye. Can, can instead of. Instead of asking me the question that you want me to ask you, just say what you want to say. <laughs> just do that. Bye bye, stupid answers. <laughs> so here's my celebrity fakest list. Whitney Cummings was also, <laughs> my, and then, <laughs> and then it's David Miller and my brother, my fucking brother. You three are, are the fakest people I know. You said the celebrities. First, okay. Let me start off with Whitney Cummings. She's just fake. Everybody knows. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to elaborate. That's everybody's number one. Don't, don't have to elaborate. And then Adam, my brother, he has this fucking nerve that he thinks he can tweet at one of my favorite streamers of all time, don't Chance Morris, Soda Poppin'. And he gets a reply from him and he just switches up on me, acts like he's different. Fake as fuck. You. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> You're the fakest one of them all. Mine. Besides maybe Whitney Cummings. <laughs> you texted me the other day. What did I text you? Um, let me preface. You actually called me first. Oh, I didn't yeah. answer. You texted me. Oh, right. Pick up. It's very important. Right. Well, I called I'm, you. You didn't answer. I'm in the middle of a mall, so I can't. I'm not just going to call you because I never know what you're going to say. I never know what I'm going to say when yeah. I'm on the phone with you. I don't know if I need like people in the mall like yeah, looking I, at me. I texted you. This is very important. Please call yeah, me or pick, something. Pick up. It's very important. What did you? What go? I, what's going through your head? I'm like, oh my god, this guy has absolutely nothing to say to me. I knew that immediately, <laughs> but but immediately <laughs> I'm like I'm like. There's no way that this guy is going to insult me, though. There's no way that he's going to belittle me. I call you. you well, you said you said you were like you read the text message. Call me. This is important. Yeah. And you go. I I expect somewhat of a conversation. With and you, yes. your head is like going. 
what actually isn't important at all. I immediately knew that it wasn't important. But I texted because you, you didn't try call. You tried call me once, right? No, a couple times. You called me once, you, twice, I think. Yeah, and you said pick I up. It's very important. And then you called me, and then you texted me. Um, so what? You need three to make it seem yeah, important. Yeah, three to five. Okay. I call you ten times, and you don't bat an eye. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> very true. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. You then proceed. I call back. I go ring, 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 mm-hmm. ring, 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 ring. Are you telling me to do it? Ring, ring. You want me to redo ring, ring. it? Phone call from depression. Use my past and my memories. As you want me to answer as if we're yeah. Going. Answer. Ring, ring. No, I will. I don't want. I want you. I, want I call hear, you. Yeah. I go. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I want to hear and from you. And you go. Uh, hey, just so you know, when I meet Leonardo DiCaprio, Tobey Maguire, David, I don't know who else you named off. You named off some people, and you go. I won't need you anymore. Click. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> you hung up on me. Yeah, that's true. Not even giving me a chance to go. Hey, I'm yeah. because I'm debatably. Yeah, I said. Um, I'm debatably more famous than those I, people because you didn't say David Blaine. Actually, you no, didn't. I said if I was to meet Leonardo DiCaprio or Brad Pitt or somebody of that stature and we'd become friends, I don't need you anymore, and we're done. And I hung up on you. Yeah, yeah, which is crazy to me because I'm debatably more famous than them. Yeah, but I don't need you if I have them as friends. <laughs> why? Because why would I ever? Oh, you want to look better by comparison by standing next to those less attractive people than me? Why would I ever need to associate myself with your kind when I know him? What is that supposed to mean? I mean, just look at Elaborate. them. Elaborate. What about? Yeah, they're slightly less good looking than me. It's just, I mean. Yeah, they're just not quite. A- just everything that they can do for me is just so much more than you'll ever do for me. Hey. And I'm sure that just their stature and everything is just more enjoyable than ever. Being okay, I get it. You know what it is? What? I, I figured it out. What? <laughs> you really want to meet David Blaine? I really Be- do because because I'm him. because I'm friends with him yeah. and Leo's friends with him. You think that just because I'm not well, introduced, I threw Brad Pitt in there, so you can't just say it's a David Blaine thing. If it was Tobey Maguire, if it was like, hey, if I met Tobey Maguire, <laughs> yeah. or Leonardo DiCaprio, I wouldn't ever need you. <laughs> yeah. Then you can clearly go. Yeah. He's trying to get to David Blaine. <laughs> yeah, you are trying to get to David. I do think you are trying to do that though, right? Anytime that you, we're we're dabbling into the pussy posse so i'll jump yes. i'll jump right in you love talking about the pussy posse the fact that <laughs> the pussy squad <laughs> the pussy team the pussy power like um the pussy people um <laughs> <laughs> the fact that back in the early 2000s leonardo dicaprio toby mcguire and david blaine formed a group called the pussy posse the pussy people the pussy people um, um. <laughs> and they hit the town just slamming puss and I don't, I don't know if they officially called themselves that. I think Rank what happened, in order of greatest to worst. No, just like and who can trap me in the? <laughs> no, the the pussy rank the pussy posse. Like who's who's pussin? Who's most likely who's to trap in me the most in, in the, hell in the, with the, Satan? Yeah, David Blaine's number one at the top <laughs> no, of that list. Who's 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 popping the most pussy in the pussy posse? Toby. Come on, you know that's not. <laughs> you realize that he he has to be the. Before let me before we go on to that, I'll rank them no problem, and I'll give it a legitimate rank. Actually, don't give me a rank. Give me a kill one, fuck one, marry one. I will do that as well, yeah. and then I'll rank them. Okay. I just have to say, I think they got the pussy posse name the same way the vlog squad got their name. You know, they're just a group of people, and then somebody coined the term. Maybe it'd be a little blogger, a little post. They mm-hmm. go, "This is the vlog squad," so then they take on the name. Yeah, I think the same thing. Like, I think a publication was like, "There's a new group in town, and they are hidden, and we call them the put." Like, they just named it, and, and they put they, that in the newspapers, in like some like Esquire, okay, paper, not like um, not like the Journal Sentinel or something like that. <coughs> okay, okay. That's how you think uh, which get. one do you want to do first? The ranking or fuck one, marry one, kill? Fuck one, marry one, kill. Killing David Blaine for obvious reasons. <laughs> yeah. Because somebody needs to put him to rest. <laughs> but I, can you, though? You know what? <laughs> Maybe. No, well, think about this. If the question is, if okay, let's say let's say like that, you snap your fingers and immediately and they, they happens. Die. <laughs> they right? die, yeah. Then David Blaine is gone. He's <laughs> yeah, killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And his evil is finally put to rest. <laughs> I, 
I wouldn't go that far because even if you snap, he's dead. I don't think that his evil ghost runs. <laughs> yeah. I think immediately right after a David Blaine ghost just appears, he goes, you fucked up, kid. Yeah. <laughs> you fu- yeah. And he possesses you. You become David Blaine. Mm-hmm. You are now David Blaine, even though you go by the alias of David Miller and everybody keeps on coining you as the next David Blaine, the next David mm-hmm. Blaine. But in reality, you are David I'm Blaine because David Blaine. because you've been possessed because you played one game of fuck one, marry, marry one, kill one. And you had to have sex with Leonardo DiCaprio and you had to marry Tobey Maguire. So you killed David Blaine and now you're David Blaine. I think you are right that I would do it that way too, that I would have <laughs> yeah, sex with Leo. Because I honestly, realistically, yeah. let's be honest, Leo's probably laying at the best. You, you know what the issue is? Is in... A year, you're too old for Leo. And yeah, you guys are true. you guys are going to get a divorce anyways. Yeah, so might as well stay with Toby. <laughs> yeah. He has like he gets re- he gets residuals from like the Spider Man movie, so you'll yeah. be you'll be set. Yeah. You're good to go. <laughs> and that's the answer. I just really like the idea of David Blaine being killed by you and you just becoming David Blaine. I don't like the idea. I'm terrified <laughs> of that. It's why I don't sleep at night. <laughs> it's, I'm scared of Try being that. friends with him. I know. <laughs> you're a lucky man. Yeah, I know. Okay, now rank him. I in terms of like who's slamming the most, mm-hmm. slamming the most, and then the coolest. I don't know. Maybe David Blaine is a low key slammer. I think that he was high, like probably the biggest slammer. Well, nowadays it's obviously Leo. I think it's obvious. Yeah. Well, right? I think that the other two are married, right? Or I mean, Toby McGuire, Even if he's not married, he's not getting any pussy anymore. Yeah. And, <laughs> and if he is married, he's cheating on his wife. Yeah. I think Toby's a cheater. You think so? I think he's like a weird freak that cheats on his wife. <laughs> Yeah, I I don't think that. I think that he just has another wife. Like he's just <laughs> he has he's a got second family. He's got a full second Maybe. family that the other family doesn't know about. There are other lesser people the in only... the pussy posse. It isn't just those three. There are more. Oh, is there? Yeah, there's the like, trickles down. Yeah, there's trickle down. There's trickle down pussy posse. Who do you who do you think the tri- the trickle the trickle? It's just is? I don't know actors early at, young actors in the early two thousands, but it's like Woody people Harrelson? in yeah Woody Harrelson is definitely in the pussy. No, <laughs> he's not in that era. Just think of like people. People that age who were famous in the early Keanu 2000s. Reeves. Keanu might actually be even the pussy posse. That's actually a good answer. <laughs> I know, but um, I only have good answers. But yeah, that would be a that would be a good answer. Okay, now rank them your favorites. My favorites. Yeah, that's actually the hardest one. That question. is the hardest one. That's the hardest question. Well, I have to put my BFF first, David Blaine, and then I'm going. You like David Blaine better than I'm going Spider-Man to- 2? I'm going Toby Maguire and then you like Leo. It, you like David Blaine better than Spider Man Two. That's my he's my bestie. He's my homie. He thought here's the thing. Leo's the most uh, overhyped ask, uh, of the three. Ask me about all three of them. Starting with Leo, Toby, and then David As Blaine. in like how do you so, feel about Leo? No, say does Leonardo DiCaprio follow you on Twitter? Ask me that. Does Leonardo DiCaprio follow you on no. Twitter? No. Now ask about Toby. Does Toby McGuire follow you on Twitter? No. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> does David play? Yes, he's not, <laughs> since you asked me. He does. He does. Wow. And I don't bring it up often. No, but David Blaine does follow me on Twitter. All right. Should we? Um, <laughs> should we like end this? Should we cut to it? <laughs> yeah. Should we cut to it right there? Does he actually follow you on? Or I thought he just liked your tweet. No, he likes, he, like, he likes me. Yeah. He, 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 he likes my tweets and he follows me. I wonder if he just did a purge one day and unfollowed you. No, no, I I check, I check every day. I check almost daily. <laughs> you know how I check my credit score every day. Yeah, you check if David Blaine follows yeah, you. Yeah, David Blaine day. still follows me. Yeah, look at that. Zoom in. No, just that's snap, good. Just well, send that, send that to me in a little. No, bit. you can see it right there. And yeah, just also screenshot him. that and then just send it to me, and I'll put it in. I'll cut it in right here. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> ask me. <laughs> Yeah, so David Blaine's clearly first. I think that Toby's above Leo for me, though. That being said, you know, nowadays, I think back, it it took me a while to actually, it took me actually watching, um, not Chris Stuckman. Jeremy Johns. Jeremy Johns. It took me watching his review of Spider-Man 1 for me to actually fully um, appreciate Toby McGuire. Why? Um, Because it's hard for me with CTE to go back in time and it's remember not that CTE, you just have a bad memory. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's hard for me to remember like the emotions that went through me during then. And like when he explained it, I was like, you know what? It is crazy that like, you know, everybody knew of Spider-Man, everybody loves Spider-Man, but there was no like 
representation of Spider-Man that was like good in movies. Yeah. And uh, there was only like that one like Japanese TV series, right? <laughs> There's an animated series, well, but the also animated. um, there was the Japanese like Spider-Man. You TV. know the, you probably know this one where when the initial trailer dropped for Spider-Man. Yes. I didn't know this until I watched Jeremy Johnson's video. Oh, you video. didn't know that? Yeah. So when the initial trailer dropped for Spider-Man, they did a teaser trailer of terrorists essentially robbing a bank. Yeah. And they flying away in a helicopter. And all of a sudden, the helicopter gets stuck. And you're like, they're like, what? Huh? And it's like they cut away to a shot of the Twin Towers, and they're stuck in between the Twin Towers yeah, and, and the web. And then they hard cut the Spider-Man, right? Yeah. And it's like, that's that gets you hyped for the first Spider-Man. And yeah. then... That only lasted for a couple I of don't weeks. know if anybody knows the next part of the story. <laughs> the, this, but get the, this. This is, the, this is something that not many people know about. Go but on. in 2001, yeah. there were these two towers. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Wait, did, they, looked, they looked alike. What, what they call, call them... That? Uh, identical. Identical towers, yeah. Yeah, the identical towers. <laughs> the identical towers. <laughs> and that's um, actually a good name. The identical towers. Yeah, yeah. When I get rich, I'm going. I'm going raise to identical I mean, towers. It's so good that you don't need alliteration. And it's, <laughs> it's solid. Yeah. And they just um, they got destroyed by a controlled demolitionist, and the government doesn't want yeah. you to know that, but that's true. Yeah. And um, I mean, jet fuel can't melt steel beams. That's a fact. And then the towers were gone, so the the production didn't know what to do. Like people are like, "Well, what are we going to do without the identical towers?" Yeah. So they had to recut the trailer. They sh- they got rid of that trailer completely. Yeah. And then also within the Spider Man movies, every Spider Man movie has a scene where Spider Man jumps into the screen, and there's a huge American flight behind him. Yeah. In Spider Man one, two, and three. Yep. All of them have it because um, people really like the identical towers. Yeah. Uh, where um, so so that Jeremy Johns review made you like? Well, no, it just so I always liked the movies, but like as soon as a new, I'm I'm a big. This is this might come as a shock to people, especially you, because you don't. I don't even think that you know of this. I have this thing that I suffer from daily, mm-hmm. and it's. Chronic recency bias. Yeah. What? <laughs> Which is whenever you show me something new, that immediately <laughs> becomes better than everything else. Yeah. And so uh, you give me the fucking Andrew Garfield Spider Mans. These are the best <laughs> Spider Mans yeah. ever for me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you give me fucking Tom Holland. Yeah. Best Spider Man of all time. That I still agree with to this day. But I, the best was, representation of Spider Man. Yes, people are going to be upset because there's the Mal Morales Spider Man, and people love that movie. The animated, yeah, that doesn't count. They, you're I talking about live action though. Yeah, li- okay. I'm, I only listed off live actions. Okay, so uh, I get really mad, but <laughs> people are going to be pissed. Yeah, they're going to be commenting below. They Make could. sure that you do that and like the video and subscribe and ring the bell and ring the bell. There you go. Ring the bell, but um. Yeah, I mean it. It's just like every time the new Spider Man came out, I was just like, "Hey, dude, wake up, wake up, sleepy." You came to my house. My brother was like, "Are you hammered?" <laughs> because you were just tired. I drive drunk here. <laughs> yeah, but so I always like every time that you gave me this new Spider Man, I was like, "Man, Tobey Maguire," because he is a dork. But it makes sense. Like that guy. Looking back on him, that guy is a big dork. Yeah. But, I mean, it makes sense that a dork plays Spider-Man in general. But, yeah, no, it, uh, every time that a new Spider-Man came out, I just kept on writing off to me, McGuire. But then I'd think back, like, when I was a kid, and I loved those movies. Like, those movies were so good to me. Like, I, I liked them a lot. Um, before I forget, this has just stumbled into my mind. It yeah. has nothing to do with it. It's a complete tangent. Yes. Um, so last week I talked about two people, or maybe it was two weeks ago. Two crazy people that I've ran into at work. Yeah. I have two more crazy people. Okay. I don't think they're as good. Yeah. You re-ran it. I mean, we I re-ran into the guy who... Um, Threw his elbow into a yeah, bag of waters. Which was great. Which was nuts. So this one is not hilarious, but this is just like a thing that I interacted with. Yes. So, stock and shelves, normal. Mm-hmm. As you, you do. You see a guy... Um, 
similar to your stature. Six, six foot seven. seven. Jacked. jacked. <laughs> 28 inch biceps yeah. like biceps that look like they should be on like an impala or something but about midday you come back to 5'8 and you're... <laughs> yeah mid, yeah midday you're like sitting 5'10 whatever so this guy's a little bit more stockier right and a little bit more of a like a tank <laughs> yeah um he has deep light blue eyes to where you look him in the eyes and it's like what the f- your his eyes look very he also looks dirty right <laughs> As if he has done a long, hard day of work. I don't know what it is, but like as you're telling this story, it, it seemed like for a bit this guy like was very off putting to you, and then he became very sexy to you, <laughs> and then he became gross to you again. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know this up so, and down that you yeah. gave me was very odd. Yeah. So he looked dirty, as if he had worked all day, <laughs> yeah. but it was th- six thirty in the morning. Yeah. So initially, I see him. And he's like, he's like chunky, you know, and he's stumbling around and he's like, man, dude, I'm so fucking sleepy. And then he starts hitting himself in the head like that. Right. <laughs> yeah. He's sweating like crazy. We're in an AC. As, he, as he's doing this, yeah. water's flying off. <laughs> it's, yeah. And he's just like pacing. And then he keeps pacing up, up and down the store. I initially saw him with like bottles of Mountain Dew in his hand. Yeah. And he walked away, and then when he came back, all the bottles of Mountain Dew were gone. <laughs> I don't know what happened. And you know what the weird thing was? He was really sticky, too, when he, he came back. No, he didn't. He wasn't anything. There was no difference. <laughs> he came back. He's just covered in Mountain Dew. He then started rapping bars. <laughs> As you do. I don't know what the song... And then he would be like, oh, fuck, I am so tired. <laughs> And then I, at a certain point, I just got to start staring because, <laughs> like, I don't know really, I don't know how to handle this. Yeah. And then he notices that I'm staring. He goes, "Oh my bad, man. Am I in your way?" And I go, "No, man. You're good. <laughs> Keep doing you." And then I start noticing, like, other Walmart employees looking at him, mm-hmm. and I go up to them and I go, "Yeah, that guy's fucked up. <laughs> you guys need to like do something." I don't know what happened. He just disappeared. That's the end of it. Oh, my bad. Am I in your way? Yeah. You know what the weird thing to me is? How do you always have clear... Because, like, there's multiple aisles in stores. I know. What's crazy is that he had walked away and he came back and he, he decided to talk to me. Of all the people he shouldn't talk to, he shouldn't talk to me. I feel like there is, like, a weird person organization and they give out your name there. And they're like, hey, what are you talking about over here? Oh, you're talking about like how you've killed a man before? Yeah. There's this guy. He's just that <laughs> He'll listen. Save. He'll listen. He's you, you that. You literally go to any grocery store. Yeah. And walk down the aisles, and once you find him, you'll notice him right away. <laughs> just talk to him. So okay, now we have different store. We're at a pick and save, which <laughs> is a little bit more of a nicer store than a yes. Walmart, but it's not really depending okay. on, depending on the area. So I am pulling a pallet in the store. Yep. And this woman, she looks about 60. Her th- uh, her thighs and her um, ankles look swollen. Okay. And when you look in the face, one of her eyes is not completely open. The other one is open completely. The other one is, it's like that, right? Okay. Where it's shut, but it's kind of still open. Okay. So she's just in my way. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm sorry, could you just move just a little bit to the right? And she just moves. She moves back, right? So then I continue on. I kind of forget about her. Eventually, she walks up past me, and then she starts like she's wearing a mask, right? So she sounds like, and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I take off my headphones to have her repeat, and then she repeats this, (laughs) and then she pauses as if I have to say something, right? She does not say that to you. I swear to God. I swear to God. And I go, all right. And then she goes, and then I go, yes. And she goes, and she's like, she's like really getting animated. Right. And she's, and she's like, she's mumbling anything. And I literally, I'm looking around (laughs) and I just keep going. Okay. All right. 
and then, and then eventually she's just <laughs> done with the conversation. She doesn't shrug or anything. She it seems like she did everything she knew, and then goes on with her day. And then the then the stocky <laughs> blue eyed guy comes up, picks her up, and she rides on his shoulders yeah. out of the store with cases amount of do. It's I mean, these have been two days within each other, like right. back to back. <laughs> like she's literally like mumbling. I don't know what she's saying. <laughs> do you remember? The video of the oldest incest family of all time. Yeah, I was literally. I had that joke in my mind, but then he he then she did it like three more times, and then I forgot about it. It was as if she didn't know words and she hung out with a dog her entire (laughs) life, and that was the only language she knew. (laughs) That's really goofy. I mean, it was crazy. uh, The other thing during that story, when you first. told me it or started it and when you asked her to move in my mind i thought that she was just going to ignore you for a long period of time so you gotta pick this old lady no 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 yeah she um she liked you though i mean there was clearly something wrong there's just many people wrong in this area yeah and they always seem like they want to have interactions with me I try to avoid them. Like I'm not trying to. I don't think you do. You th- you think well because I don't have these interactions. <laughs> <laughs> like, here's the thing. I look the thing. You know what the issue is? Is you even described it earlier? I look like I should be having these interactions. <laughs> I should be that person that's coming up to you and having these interactions, which I do every day. Yeah. So I am that weird guy. But like I sh- like these people should be like one of us. One of to us. me, to me, or to you, to me, like that short, stocky guy with yeah. that's covered in dirt. But they see me as a shepherd of their kind. <laughs> yeah, and they're gonna wrangle them out. Do I you don't, think that you could start a cult? I don't. I don't think I have. I don't think I have the capacity to to bring them all in to wrangle. Them. I think I can get them all in one place, but once <laughs> I, once it comes down to the brass tacks, I just don't think I have. They would all start just mumbling. <laughs> We we speak the language of David. I think I would get a lot. I think I would get bored if, really quickly. What if that lady came up to you for weeks? Yeah, just kept on uh, uh, until three weeks in, it becomes perfect like English to you, and <laughs> like I just you understand ju- it. You just understand it, and like four like other it's, it's like people walk past them, and they're like, "What the fuck is this bitch saying to him?" And you're just having this full on conversation. What's with this crazy woman. is that. So this woman, she, there was she didn't have like a handler, it was just her, and she, she like, like well she knew I'm you know how like sometimes um these buses pull up and there's just a bunch of um special ad I don't know what the, what the fuck to say <laughs> yeah. fucking just like a bunch of yeah people, like a men or people. A with bus uh, of mental, mentals. Men, mental disability. <laughs> people with mental disabilities. Mentally. Mentally handicapped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're scared to say that? You know when, like, a bus of them pull up? <laughs> <laughs> You're on that bus, so don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know when I get off my bus? <laughs> yes. I know what you pull up in daily. <laughs> she wasn't on the bus. No, she like she didn't have. You know, there's usually one handler that wrangles all of them together. <laughs> Get called that? <laughs> what do you mean? You can't say that. The handler to handle them. <laughs> what the care caregiver? Yeah, is that what you'd say? Yeah, if yeah. Anything. She didn't have one of those. No, because she was just she was mumbling, mumbling on her own. <laughs> <laughs> Did you witness this woman talk to anybody else? Just me. <laughs> 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 she was a later. Com- later, I when I went to the bathroom, she was just sitting on the bench, hmm. waiting by the bathroom. Did she nobody, recognize you? Nobody around. We did look. At, well, I looked her in her her eye because the other <laughs> one was closed the whole time. Yeah, but uh, but I for like having her eye closed and being sixty and stuff, she's sexy. She was hot. She could get it. Yeah. No, I mean a no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> um. Did somebody call you today? Yeah, I asked you this before. Yeah, why do you want to ask this now? Did you did you get asked any questions? Nothing crazy. Nothing. You're you keep prodding me for something. Like he asked me anything nuts. It did was, he ask about your rules? Oh, he asked me <laughs> about um because I keep on spreading rumors about you. <laughs> well, they're fabricated and hyperbolized rumors. He keep well. He's under the assumption. <laughs> 
our he, James has told our friend Alec, yeah. not like, just Alec, multiple people, like a lot of people I've told people. that I can't play video games at the apartment that I live in because my girlfriend will not let me. And also that you have a what a bedtime, bedtime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have a bedtime. So my friend Alec was like, "Hey, what's going on there with that? Like, can you not? You can't play video games and like you gotta go to bed on time, or yeah. essentially." Yeah, and I was like, not really. Like, I just didn't know what he was calling about. I was like, it was just she has work at certain. T- it's not as in- it's not as elaborate as yeah, you it's make hyperbolized. It seem- uh, yeah, yeah I, and I've been telling a lot of. And people he's this. like, what? You just can't talk when you play video games. <laughs> and I was like, nah. It's just like if she's on a meeting. Oh man, it's really funny because me and you will play video games sometimes, and like partway through, you'll be like, "All right, in like ten minutes, I'm not gonna be able to talk." And then, right, then we I, drop, and it's like, "Never mind, I gotta stop talking right now." <laughs> and then yeah. you won't talk anymore. And yeah, because my my girlfriend is taking a meeting on Zoom where she's like with her bosses, and I've called you a fucking retard yeah. when she's on these <laughs> yeah. calls. So she so she doesn't get happy when I'm I, doing that. I go out of my way to like do things that would like make. Well, you- one time we we're playing Warzone, mm-hmm. and we we're in an intense moment. Yep. And you're like, all right, get in the helicopter. I was like, all right, all right, all right. And I'm running to the helicopter. I well, jump. you don't say, all right, you're not allowed to talk at this right? time. Oh, right, right, <laughs> right. I can't even talk. I'm like, okay. So I'm, I get into the helicopter, and in my head, I'm like, yes, we're out of here. And I was like, go, go, go. I'm like whispering, and you immediately run into a building. And I'm just so pissed because I think I'm the most wanted. And I'm, I'm I think I'm the most you. wanted. And I think, like, I'm like, yes, we're home free. Fuck, we're doing it. And then you just run immediately into a wall. Well, no, we, and we, I just can't help. I go, you're a, fucking re- you're a fucking retard. We got into a fight after, like, just landing or something. Like, we, we had just gotten back from the gulag. We land. There's like a bunch of people in the stadium area. It's like pretty much everything surrounded, but the helicopter's still there. So I go down there, steal this helicopter. You, I go, get in, get in, get in. You can't say anything. You're there silent. And I just go up and I run it into the wall. And I cry of laughter. I'm just dying because I know that you can't say anything. And you go, I guess you say you're a fucking retard or something <laughs> loud enough where your girlfriend. No, was, I, they, she could hear, but they can't. It's uh, fine. Yeah. And it was just, I was like, <laughs> and then even then I go, you got nothing to say about that, which just, you said it quietly enough that like it didn't pick up on the, or I was just laughing too hard and I couldn't hear. Um, it. I also got to think about this. So this, that has happened to me multiple times where enemies are shooting yes. and my, get get in get in get in to the helicopter and then they immediately crash it <laughs> killing our entire squad that's happened to me three times three or four times it was so funny it has i play a lot of warzone yes i have never in my entire life seen a squad like get in get in the hel- i'm there and get in the helicopter right and we're like shoot them down, shoot them down, and then they kill their entire squad that's now ne- i've never seen that on the up op- it's only happened to me I've never witnessed another team doing that. It's only that my teammates, and it's never me flying the helicopter. It's always fucking people that are flying like, I got it, I got it. <laughs> you know what the best part is, too, is that like as soon as you get in the helicopter, too, it's like the sigh of relief. It's like, oh, we're safe. <laughs> yeah, you, you, because- you even get a little bit relaxed. You kind of, like for you, you kind of like probably get a little bit more relaxed on your controller. You're not like, oh, shit. You're not zoned in. You're not holding. Yeah, because- so you get relaxed, and then I just... The chances of you dying in a helicopter are, you can do it, you can die, but it's nothing compared to like being in a car or yeah. being out in the open. Yeah, I mean, somebody can snipe you out potentially, but it's hard. Somebody yes. can shoot rockets at you, but you have a flare to divert it. Yeah, and also if they shoot a rocket at you, you can jump out of the helicopter and you'll be fine. Yeah, you killed us immediately. <laughs> you killed us in the right. Yeah, and. The- so I've also been telling people um, that your girlfriend, when you, when you talk, like she has like a stick where she, oh, she, beats she me. smacks you with it. Like, <laughs> you get too loud, <laughs> which, which is a really funny concept to think about. We were playing Fall Guys before we came here, Elizabeth and I. Oh, she likes it? Well, I told her. I was like, it's a very simple. I was like, do you want to play this game? She's like, I don't play video games. I was like, it's a very simple game. It's made for children. It should be good for you. It's, ve- it's not made for children. That game is hard. It is very hard. <laughs> but children ready. win at the game. No. What's the furthest you've gotten? The the youngest kid that's won, and this is a fact, is actually twenty. 
<laughs> is that a fact? <laughs> That's a fact. That's a known fact. Yes. What's the farthest you've gotten? I think I've only got to three. The, I've only gotten to the third round. I haven't I, even got to the final I, I, round. I did the hexagon, and I was the, the entire night. Right, like I started off very bad. Yeah, like I, I just was like <laughs> getting the very first round we did. We uh, did one of these race, the slime run or whatever, which okay. is the hardest one. Is that where the floor slowly starts? Becoming there's like Slime. yeah there's like I just slime. did that one for the first time. Very hard. It's fucking difficult. Yeah, I had and such a huge lead today, and then I just get hit by a fucking pole or something. Yeah, and it's over. And it's just like you. It seems simple, but it's not. I, I always get fucked up with the fall with, there, guys. There, there's is such three. an annoying game because you're watching it from the outside and yeah. you go, it's so fucking easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me, it gets why even better. Why don't you just like? Why don't you just do this and then you play it? It's impossible. I talk a bit. You know me. I'm going to talk a big game before I do anything. Yeah. Immediately. I thought I was going to get a win on my first try. Yeah. I immediately, Devin goes, oh, this one I'm the best at. And then, you know, fucking everybody else is like, oh, this one's really tough. And Devin goes, just follow me, James. And he does this shortcut where immediately you jump on this triangle and you get like a quick shortcut. I die in the first 10 <laughs> seconds because because if you don't, he would, if you don't he would, nail it. What, what he forgot to mention was if, if you go into the slime, you're eliminated. Right? Yes. And yeah. the, because if you miss that jump. And say you don't realize that there's slime coming behind you because you've never seen this map before. Yeah. You uh, the slime comes up pretty quick because it's right away. Yeah. And then if you keep on attempting that jump and just keep on missing it like three times, you get hit You're by just the slime. Die. Yeah. And so I got eliminated first ten seconds in. I'm angry. I'm streaming. I'm pissed. Uh, fucking. We go on. And I go, this is just such bullshit because like if I get to the hexagon, everybody knows I'm really good at hexagon. <laughs> Which I haven't even made it to this. <laughs> I haven't made it past like the third round at this point or something. Yeah, like I haven't. I made still it to... have. I've only played two days now. Yeah, and yesterday I'm, and today. And I'm just like, if I get to the hexagon though, I make it. Yeah, and I did end up like there was like 14 people or whatever. I ended up making top three, which was cool. But like, it was still like I got there and I lost, and it was so embarrassing because <laughs> well, I talked. I talked this big game. Really, oh, but the hexagon, my game. <laughs> yeah, and I just lost at it immediately very first time i tried it uh tried it again to lost again uh but yeah no i i, I made it to the final round a couple times the, the, the issue with the game that i have is one they need a few more maps because i can see it getting stale but i still got to grind well, season up. two just got announced and yeah they're dropping more stuff for yeah i know but also uh some of them are just really bad like like the tail grabbing one i i that was I, easy i like that one but i don't like um in most of the team games, I don't really like. I don't like because if you have a dog shit team, you're just getting eliminated. It, it's a, if you no, if you get yellow, you're just eliminated. Why is yellow? It's They're the, just the it's worst. It's a big meme. Everybody just talks yellow about team the other. fucking do- yeah, dog. Yeah, if you shit. get yellow team, you just back out. <laughs> I don't understand how the where this game came from, and then it just like crushed. I mean, everything it's like people were playing it like it was funny like to play because it's like difficult and everybody well, was it's playing funny it for a bit to, because it and looks tim like a the joke tat man tim the tap man hopped well in yes it. he blew it up but like i mean it just like every fucking person all of a sudden decided to play it yeah at the same time i mean their marketing team is a genius like look at their twitter account their twitter account so i would funny. agree i don't have i'm not knocking all of that that's just why it became big is but also it does seem like when a game catches fire it just immediately becomes huge that's the same yeah. thing that happened with fortnite yeah or PUBG. i mean or it's, it's, it's when it gets streamed people people stream it and then yeah. it, one person streams it and then therefore everybody's like oh this is cool this looks fun and then everybody hops on the. Band. It is the streamers. That, that I game, think that is really what that game pushes games is forward. very hard and very. H one N one was like that too. Mm-hmm. I never right. played those games though. No right. Well, that's. I feel like H one N one was right before. Like you mean H one Z one? H one Z one? Yeah. Is H one N one just a flu? That's <laughs> the swine flu. Is it the swine flu? <laughs> yeah, and you said it very confidently multiple times. Yeah, it's the swine H1, flu. H1 yeah, I just never wanted to play that H one N one game. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. I don't fuck with pigs, so <laughs> I never um, would. When H1Z1 became... Because that was the game for a little bit. It was like a little bit of a battle royale, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, streamers were playing it. It looked popular. That and PUBG were like the first ones. It, that one that one had Steam. But H1Z1 never, was... Uh, it was a DayZ mod, right? DayZ mod, yeah. Armor, Armor 3 mod. Armor 2? Yeah. Yeah. That's what it was. Something like that. Yes. And uh, yeah, it was just... Be- so was PUBG. PUBG was a... Armor mod, that one was an armor mod. I think that the other one was a Daisy mod. That's what it was. Well, was it like that? Something like that. Yeah. Okay. Well, Daisy. Well, that makes sense. Daisy is an armor mod. H1's, H1's, well. Wait, really? Yeah, Daisy is an armor mod. 
Okay, I don't know. I don't know any of those games. Never played any of them. Well, nobody likes... People who play Arma are fucking... Weirdos? Yeah. Darks? Yeah, they're fucking nerds. Creeps? People like... Um, do you know who played Arma? I hung out with them in my sophomore year. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So you just don't? Yeah. So people like him played, right? Mm-hmm. Who were just like super geeky. And were like, no, this is... And he was right that the Arma was get, like ahead of the curve in terms of like... why. I mean, it was like Warcraft. It was just a really advanced shooter because there were so many. Because it, it, it's a, it's actually just like Warcraft because Warcraft 3 was the same way. It, it was just so it was many. Like, it was very advanced and you were able to do multiple things with it, which like created. I mean, Dota, Dota 2 was like. You know what the problem Dota is? A, you know what the problem with those games are? Is that they're not made by big companies, so they end up being clunky. Indie game companies, yeah. They become. So like the gameplay is interesting, which will push you through it. But then, like, a Call of Duty is just smooth. Yeah. yeah. That, they just, or like, a, even a Fortnite, because those are the guys <laughs> who fucking made uh, Gears of War, right? No. That's Epic Games? Team Fight. Or Team uh, Team Fortress. Team Fortress? I think. No, that's fucking Steam and Valve. I don't know. Yeah, I know you don't know. You look it up. Is Epic Games <sighs> Fortnite, or uh, Epic Games Gears of War? They feel like an indie company, though, right? They feel like a Riot Games type. They are an indie game company. No, they're not. Google. Epic Games, I'm pretty sure, made Gears of War. Fortnite Unreal Tournament. Yeah. They, they are a... Did they make Gears of War? Um, no, they made Gears of uh, Battle. Just say they made Gears of War so we can move <laughs> no. on to the conversation. They made Gears of War. Okay, thank you. That's still an indie game company, I feel no, like. No, it isn't. Why would you why would it not be? I mean, they also called Blizzard like an indie game company for until it got bought out by Activision. Because when they made Gears of War, maybe at initially they were indie, but at this point, it's X Gears of War has been like the but they Xbox. Haven't, they haven't made a game of Gears of War in like twenty years. They've made like five Gears of War <laughs> fucking games. It's the game no. that people played on Xbox and I'm just saying, fucking Fortnite feels more... Hey, stop yelling at me, man. Fortnite hey, feels stop. more fluid no, I'm than louder. a PUBG. PUBG yeah. fe- is like garbage. Because yeah, it's, made, it's garbage. Right, but an, Epic's game, an Epic Games can make like I, Fortnite fluid. I hate fucking games like that, too. And like people what, like... Like PUBG? Like PUBG, and like now there's this game... Have you heard of Escape from Tarkov? No. It's stupid. It's the dumbest fucking game. It looks like shit. It looks like garbage. If your game looks like garbage, just fuck you. And if it feels clunky, fuck you. Fucking hate you. How about you go... Those the, the people that tell me to play Escape from Tarkov are the same people that are offering me fucking Oscar Mayer hot dogs at a fucking party. And we made this joke on the last podcast. And then we go to a party that day. A, yeah, talk that about, same day. Yeah. Talk about the hot dogs. And like three people go, I like Oscar Mayer hot dogs. Yeah, we told those people to kill themselves. And we, and we beat their ass. <laughs> we beat the fuck out of them. I really... You... um, I hate them. That, when we were at that party... I didn't let anybody know. I told everybody, I was like, that's wrong. You guys have the wrong opinion. You guys should kill yourselves. Like, I really let one into them. Hey, stop throwing that around so loosely. What? They'll get you fucking canceled. I was, yeah, I was messing around, right? Yeah. Not to those people because they eat Oscar Mayer hot dogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you were like, uh, you were holding back on these people. You were being a little nicer than I was. When they were Nuh-uh. saying it. I'm pretty sure. In the pool, I strictly go... Honestly, if you offer me an Oscar Mayer hot dog, is it a part- weird thing that we're in the pool talking about Oscar Mayer hot dogs? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, I I remember specifically saying that I was like, if I'm the in the pool and you offer me an Oscar Mayer hot dog, you might as well just slap me in the face while you're at it. I was like, and then I go, Rez, is that even in the top fifty? Is that even a top fifty hot dog? Did you say <laughs> and no? And he goes, I don't think so, <laughs> <laughs> because me and him, he, uh. because I like Nathan's hot dog, which was the number two on the list yeah. behind. Uh, Hebrew, Hebrew National. Hebrew National. And, uh, I've still never tried a Hebrew National. They're pretty good. And he and he cut down. He's really fascinated by me and that and my uh, love yeah, we for hot dogs. It last week. Yep, we explained and people, that. People don't listen. Go back and listen to the whole podcast. Yep, listen to subscribe the and then listen through one through seven. And also donate to my PayPal. PayPal dot me slash Yameswell. Go there. And then we'll Support start. A, we'll start a, pa- a Patreon. Yeah, Patreon. Yeah. Um, we should start that. Thing. We should. I don't know how to do it. I do. Uh, but. So like, I I I was just as I was just as if not more aggressive than you because I don't remember you saying as harsh of things that like, you came up. Yeah, I just made that up. Yeah. I didn't tell people to kill themselves, but um, I should have. Yeah, 
They, <laughs> Thanks they, for agreeing with me. Yeah. So when I go when I go down and bring your fucking dumbass with me, I just don't want to be like another Keemstar. Have you seen the Keemstar video with Haha, Leafy? Kill yourself. <laughs> that not that one. The most recent one. No, I I don't keep up. With about, I literally don't keep up with that guy because Leafy got canceled. Leafy yeah, right after the Pokemon shit. Yeah, his his shit's turned down. And Keemstar did like Wait, an what interview. happened with him? His YouTube got taken down. Oh, they took down his YouTube. Yeah, I didn't know that. I, we talked about it last week. No, we said enough. No, I said that multiple times, and you were like, I don't keep up with this. I don't know. I don't know anything about so this. So it did get taken yes, down. Yes, it got week? taken down. You never said yes, that. Yes, I did. 100%. Go back. Hey, how about you go back and watch the fucking. You're telling everybody else. How about you subscribe to the fucking channel? How about you follow I the fucking. How, how about you follow the fucking Twitter? You how about you. How about you do all that shit? You don't shit? even have. How about you ring the fucking notification bell? You don't have a second YouTube channel to subscribe to this channel. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You don't. I have two different. I have James and David, and I also have James Schutz. I do. I do. Don't at me. Let me finish what I'm fucking saying. Leave. Why are you talking so fast? Calm down. Because you angered me. About what? About trying Just to finish it. Watch the podcast, man. You're on it. For fuck's sake. <laughs> uh, that's why I don't need to watch it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Then remember things for once. You never remember shit. Go ahead. Leafy was doing an interview with Keemstar. Does he have a YouTube channel? No. It's taken down. And uh, Keem, Keemstar is like talking about how Leafy went to the protests. And he was like, yeah, man, that was so scary that you were there. He was like, well, I wasn't stupid. I went there like with a, armed and stuff. He goes, oh, I might get in trouble for this. But, uh, you know, I I don't have like a concealed carry or anything. I just brought Ooh, a whole star. Leafy. Leafy said that? Yeah. And, he, and then he like goes on and starts to say, uh, he says this pretty much verbatim. You know. I, I probably shouldn't. I, he goes, I probably shouldn't say this, but, uh, you know, I'm just hoping that somebody fucks with me one day so that way, like, I have a reason to shoot him. Yeah. And he says that. On and Keemstar what? just, on, what? on, like, this, like, interview thing that Keemstar is doing with okay. him. Okay. And Keemstar just, like, laughs hysterically at it. Like it's funny or? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like it's a funny joke. Yeah. But it's like, dude, that guy's a big fucking weirdo and actually is, like, looking to do that. So. I don't know why. What's the backlash from this? I mean, just H3. It or whatever. Oh, okay. I mean, I I didn't look much into it. I mean, obviously, people aren't happy. It's a fucking stupid ass shit to say. Like, why would anybody say that? Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, God, you are like talking to you today is like talking to a brick wall. What are you talking about? You haven't I mean, said shit all, all by yet. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> you, haven't, you haven't brought up one story. I've got a story for you. All right, um, go ahead. I've already told you this one. Man, dude. I, uh, I'm starting. To, I called you the other day, and I go, "Hey, do you think I'm like weird <laughs> to women? <laughs> like, do do you think that women think I'm weird?" Which I'm starting to think I like I am because I've been I've been using Tinder. Oh, stop Tinder for stop. a while. You really you brush by something, really <laughs> and I don't I don't appreciate that. Okay, you said, "Do people think I'm weird?" No, women. Do women think I'm weird? Because I'm starting <laughs> to think I'm weird. <laughs> yeah, but... You, Stop, hold on. Don't start just speaking really quickly. I don't speak quickly. I speak at a normal pace. It's just that your slow brain can't keep up. <laughs> Literally, my my mouth and my brain are fast and quick. More athletic than you, too. There's no thing to start. Everybody's finished. We all think you're weird. <laughs> The conversation is over. <laughs> but I ask you this, and you go, no, I don't think that. You you even told me that. And I go, hmm, that's weird, because I I was on Tinder. I've been on Tinder for a bit. I'm swiping on girls, swiping on girls, whatever. I always swipe right. I don't give a fuck. I'm just going. Yep. And I see one, and it gets all sparkly, It, which you don't have a Tinder. I don't think no, you ever I have. I haven't used a Tinder. There's this like thing called super years. links, which is rather than swiping right, or left, which is yes or no. Yeah, I know what a super like is. You swipe upward. Yeah. And it means this person can see that you like them. So pretty much, you know, if you swipe up on somebody, some people go through and actually like go, hmm, do I like this person? They read their bio, look at all their pictures. And they, me, I just swipe right. I like you. <laughs> no matter what, I don't care who you are, I like you. That's yeah. that's my process. But, you know, if you super like somebody, you already go into it knowing that this person liked you. Because it shows that they super liked you before yeah. while you're swiping through their pictures. 
So they got all shiny, and I was like, oh, I recognize the girl. Yeah. She's a girl that, like, we went, had gone to school with. Went to school with. You guys follow each other on Twitter. You know who this person is. Yeah. Come to find out, I follow her on Tinder or Twitter. She doesn't follow me back. Oh, that's a you are you followed her on Twitter? I a long time ago. Okay, because I know, like we know of each other. Like, what's I don't, her full name? No, neither of us have ever talked, okay. but but we know of each other. Okay. We have mu- lots of mutual friends. You have mutual Got friends it. with with her too. Yep. And uh, I go, oh, this is dope, <laughs> and <laughs> swipe right, and because we match and she super liked me, I'm like, okay. You know, this actually seems cool. Good looking girl. Seems like really dope from what I know of her. She's sexy. She's good looking, yes. Uh, And I go, man, I don't just want to send this person a hey, what's up? Because I'll I'll send whoever, hey, what's up? Like, I'll I'll get a bunch of matches because I'm just like swiping right. That's just what I'm doing. She's just 18? No, (laughs) she's 21. Oh, good for for you. Yeah. And uh, I go, Man, what should I send? This? I don't want to just send, hey, what's up? Because that sounds lame, right? Like, you, if, you, if you're a girl, you're matching with every dude that you swipe right on. Because guys aren't, like I said, guys aren't thinking about it. There's... Right. So yeah. you're saying the girl, when she likes... If, if she decides... Most girls. To, if she decides to like a guy, it's going to be an instant match for More her. than likely. Compared to you liking every girl that you see. <laughs> and I'll get... I have... In total, 12. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I have a decent amount. I probably have like 300, but that's because yeah. I've been swiping for years. Okay. Um, So I'm just like, man, what do I do? Do I make some joke? Like, first I'm like, hey, what's up? I like thinking, should I send that? I'm like, mm, but if then she never replies, then I'm going to have the urge like, ah, maybe it's just because I sent a boring message and then I want to send another one. So then immediately I'm thinking, ah, but I don't want a double messenger. Uh, this is all going through my head pretty quickly or whatever. And... uh <laughs> I, I then go, hmm, maybe I should, like, bring up the fact that she super liked me and, like, make a joke about it. Like, oh, so did you actually super like you're me? You're trying to find your perfect in. Yes. And I go, I think, like, my next message of choice would have been, like, uh, did you actually mean to super like me or did you accidentally drop your phone and swipe up on accident? That would have been okay. Which would be funny. That's not bad. Uh, but then I decide maybe... Because in my mind, I'm like, there's no way that if this... If she super liked you, she read your bio. She had to have read my bio. Because yeah. somebody doesn't look at me and go, dream guy. They, they don't go... They might. They, go, they don't go... They don't immediately turn on Cardi B's WAP and just yeah. like start fucking wetting their pussy. Yeah. Uh, usually they're like Ben Shapiro's wife and it's just dried up down there. Speaking of Ben Shapiro, he has a hot ass sister that Does has he? nudes on the internet. Okay, I'll we're not we're that. not going to talk about that. So my Tinder bio, I've read it before, is "Inner Lips of an Angel" was on my MySpace playlist. So I've pretty much always been a romantic. I often get confused for the kid from Up or Jack Black. I don't fuck, but I have made love three and a half times. I haven't posted truth is status on Facebook since freshman year of high school. So I've pretty much been fully matured for ten years now. And since girls care about this or whatever, I'm six foot seven in the morning. Can you just change the I sometimes get confused for Jack Black to I sometimes get confused for Jack White? I like that a little bit more. <laughs> Do you know who Jack White is? No. <laughs> then just put it. <laughs> Wait, is that the is that the snowman? No. He's like an indie guitar player. <laughs> Should I just, or should I put just like two sexy ass dudes? Like sometimes get like confused for like you know, no, Bene- don't Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> that, that's <laughs> funny. That, one, that one's better. Yeah, uh, but so I go off of my favorite joke, uh, which is a joke that I use often now. So it's probably died down to you. But even when you first heard it, you thought it was funny. It was six foot seven one. So yeah, I I'm me- six foot seven in the morning. Yeah. So I I message her, hey, I want to clear the air on something, although. Uh, that you, I want to clear the air on something that you might be suspicious about that in my bio is that although I may be a couple centimeters taller in the morning, in reality, I'm never six foot seven. <laughs> and she replied, Nothing. <laughs> 10 minutes later, <laughs> 10 minutes later, I open up my Tinder. She unmatched me. Man, what, she, a, what a sad story. She she used her super like something that like I'm pretty you sure all, yeah, you only you get only like get once a month. You only get to use a couple. You only get like one a month. Or you get to spend money. And or you can more. spend money, yeah. So she decided to super like you just to be like, you know what, never mind. <laughs> you know what? And, you know, in my mind, either she did accidentally end up super liking me. Which is, which is which very is, possible. It feels unlikely because what are the chances of you super liking somebody that you that have you know. a... That, 
Ish. You, you, I'd like to think that she definitely knows who, who I am. Okay, great. So this person who was like, you know what? I do super like you. <laughs> right. And it goes, uh, never mind. <laughs> and, <laughs> and you know what? I'll double down. Maybe you guys both followed each other on Twitter. She goes, you know what? Wait. And she goes on Twitter and unfollows you. Yeah. Because there's no way to prove that. There's, yeah. Because you must have checked after the fact, right? Yeah. Or um, did you? Did she super like you, or did you check immediately? And they go, do we follow each other on Twitter? I I did check immediately. Oh, so and she didn't. Follow she, you. she wasn't following. Okay. All so. right. Well, there you go. That's that's actually good progress. Maybe <laughs> here's the next step. Okay. You DM her and go like, hey, this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you didn't get this <laughs> message before. No, 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 no. no and no. you send her. You send her the same thing. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> But you might not ever get to see. I'm only six foot seven in the morning, <laughs> so you won't probably won't ever get to see me that way. Yeah, unless you sleep over at my house. That yeah. was the end of the message. That should have been it. But <laughs> so DM her because you already you, follow her on Twitter. You can't say that to me because this is something that already crossed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> because immediately I, I go, huh. like I I send that message. And I'm like, okay. I wrote up something pretty decent. Yeah, there. this one's going to get her. <laughs> I was like, this one's pretty goofy. And then immediately walk upstairs, go through, look through. I'm like swiping because I every time that I go on my phone, I like, I'll like bring down or I'll swipe up to like look at everything that I've opened previously or whatever. Like it does that screen or whatever where you can look at your previously opened yeah. tabs. And I go to Tinder. I'm like, oh. Open up Tinder and go to my messages. <laughs> it's not there anymore. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and it was like, it was like, a, I was like, man, I was confident in that message. I thought that was funny. Maybe people <laughs> don't want funny. We have gotten to the end of this podcast. Yes. And not typically we do anything special for it. We just say goodbye. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to um, pitch you something. Okay. That I know you're going to turn down. But let's see how this goes. You want me to sing? I want you. To go on Twitter and damn this girl, hey, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I don't know if you didn't get this message on Tinder, but you super liked me, so I'll resend it to you on here. And you must have accidentally... Can we construct this message here? Because because I know that for sure you didn't accidentally super like me, but you for sure accidentally unmatched me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm no longer able to message you on Tinder. So, so on here... um. Did you get my joke about me? <laughs> about me? Did you get my joke? Did you get it about the six foot seven thing? Because there's like a science that says that your back is decompressed in the morning and then it compresses and you get a little bit shorter. Anyways, uh, I think you're kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> Tongue face emoji. Would you want to send a message on the end of it? No. God damn it. But that would be very funny. You know what? Maybe... Maybe I'll just send her the podcast and be like, hey, tune into like 40 minutes past or whatever. No, it's about, no, it'll be tune into 55. Actually, tell her. when I started? No, when you started the conversation. I think I started talking about it pretty. It was like no, I was checking. It was like 52 minutes around because okay. we're about a minute. Um, Yeah, maybe we can just, or we tell her, hey, we talk about you in this podcast. <laughs> And she has to wait to the end to get to it. Yeah. So we have a full fucking viewer, and our average watch them pops up. Yeah. But in reality, she'd probably watch the entire... The issue is if she watches the entire podcast, she's immediately going to go, I made the right decision. <laughs> and also blocked on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> and completely all, cut off. All other social medias. All right. Are we done here? Yep. Peace out, motherfuckers. Good night, everybody. I got to go to sleep. <laughs>